How do you all? How are we all doing? I hope we're all fine and well on this glorious morning. Welcome to Clive's Morning Channel. And uh, this is uh, the submarine that I was doing. So, um, I basically what I've done is uh, <coughs> mould up the sides a bit. And now we're going to give the this this whole side uh, a complete paint now. So we're going to paint the whole side, um, and then we'll do the other side as well. So this is what it looks like at the moment. So um, we're going to put a thin layer of of greys over that um, to uh, camera her up. Now I was looking at this paint, which is Mr. Colors number 36 which is RLM grey RLM 74 grey but I've got a feeling it's a bit too dark so I was going to go with uh, natural grey or neutral grey which is number 13 so there's the two numbers there so um, yeah um, what I'm going to do I'm going to have a go with this one first I might do some shadowy lines on it and then go over this one lightly after I think but uh, the airbrush is up and running. And uh, right, okay, let's put a bit of juice in there. Give this a bit of a shake. I'll put it over there for a minute. Right, I'll just get this cable in. Oh, this cable has a little bit of a. I'll try to have a little bit of a move around. <coughs> So that's out of the way, right? Everything's out of the way. So if I hire you up a bit, there we go. Cheers all. Right, oh, oh. See any things on time? You get, you have to screw them up, lock them up tight, and then unscrew them, and then the cap comes off in the cap. So put a bit of that in there. Um, wipe that off and then just there we go like that See how this comes out, so a quick, quick test on the bench. Right, okay. So, move this lot over here. Now I'll do another video later showing you what I've been doing, because obviously um, I've had two weeks uh, of uh, mourning the uh, HRH mom. And um, yeah, sad times, but never mind. I suppose we've all got to go. Can't stay in this world forever. Not I'd really want to, but uh, she's in a much better place now. God bless her. Right. Oh, mind that bloody car is coming out. There you go. It's coming out now. Hey, coming out over there. There you go. Go on, your bugger. I won't do it all the way around. Do it in the curvature of, uh, where's my light? There we are. In here, under the curvature of that and around that, you see. Don't know really bother doing anything like this. Let me just patchwork it like I've done. I mean, the whole lot's, um, it's all packed right again. It's just go out and find a coat of um, <clears throat> Looking at this colour, this is not the correct colour for this, but this will do for a little bit of base work, I suppose. Right. There we go. Uh, Hmm. 
Well, let's do the things over here. So the whole idea of it is you don't want to massively put these on thick, these lines. You just want so they're just about noticeable, really. Yeah, so they're like that. I mean, you can see they're more noticeable on the, the cameras to what I'm doing than, than they are sitting here. Although I can see them, but, uh, you know, it's just one of the things. You don't want to um, have them pouring through like some massive dark shapes, ghosts, if you like. Here we go, all the way up to the front. Let's just go down the front end here. There we go, perhaps we can go a bit further in. Here we go. And then we'll go down here onto this. But that will be about it really. I'm not gonna go right underneath because if you're sitting like that, like that on the shelf, you're not gonna be able to view right under there, but I suppose we can always uh, just give it a quick one top of rivets, I suppose. Some kids sweet. It's out there. It's not bloody like. I'm smooth now, but it was it's either that or it's spider's poop. I don't know, but it hasn't been upside down. So that's a kid's sweet. Much hair, kids. <laughs> oh. Well, there we go. And then just to do these upright rivets here. Let's see it. in black now so I chink that over there and do the arse end so let's get on this yeah 
Yeah, we're going. Cars with the Arada. I'm getting the gist now of this. Is, uh, I forgot I can remember this one and the Mark 9. This is another Mark 7C of a different variant. The Mark 9 are both going to be seagoing bear of um, submarines as to do um, <coughs> the other Mark 7 that's in dry dock. And basically just been left to rack and ruin. That's one. That's the one that's got most of the parts missing. So yeah. So I don't know quite what we'll do. Right, I'll do this side on on camera, and then the other side I'll do a, a side this. So because otherwise I'll it'll take forever and a day, and you lot will be bored shitless. And yeah, so it'll just be um, a little bit too much to do in one hit. That's where all the crap drains out of the out of there. So that's that like that, so that looks a bit bit better than it should do. Right, and then this little that's it right in there. And then in the vents. That's it, right. Tip that back in the pot. And all over the desk. <laughs> oh dear, so I wasn't looking what I was doing. Oh, this paints like gold dust to me at the moment. I can't tell you. It was only yesterday I was speaking to someone, and uh, yeah, they, when, you, you never know when you're on rock bottom until somebody who's not on rock bottom suddenly hams it home to you, and it's like, oh dear. <laughs> so I really have got to look after all this paint and stuff because. I'm finding it difficult to get a job at the moment, and um, yeah, things aren't good. Um, but there we go. I still carry on the best way I know how. Right, I'm gonna use a leveling thinners. So I'm gonna just bring it up here a bit. So I'm gonna use some leveling thinners with this, which is the neutral grey. So I'm gonna, first of all, put a bit in there and swash it about with the brooch, just to clean all that old RLM grey down in the bottom of the pot because there was a 
a lighter grey underneath that. <clears throat> so this will get down in there. Nothing goes wasted. So we can just give it a quick, a quick buzz. Just to give it a bit of a dark tinge to start off with. On the areas that, especially on the underside bit there. And you gotta try and do this without knocking the crap out of that bottle of jollop. Oh, the fans, because these are all still the standard black that I painted it in the first place. <coughs> Well, that'll do it. Right now, just want to poke a load of that in there because the grey you need now has got to be really thin down because you want it like a like a ghost grey as such. Oh, so you don't really want it. So if you was, if you was to um, so like it'll come out, but so it's not completely. Darky darky as such. Let's just put it on there, we just put all the lids back on. Otherwise it'll go everywhere. Because I'm bound to knock it over. Put it down there, right. put that out of the way. Have a sip of tea. Right. That's so what we're gonna do now. Just gonna Put this over on this whoop, one side. It's where I need a bit more room. <laughs> right, here we go. Right there, ha ha, good stuff. And then what we do now, we just go over the whole thing. So, let's just, let's just do the front first. So you can see, <clears throat> bloody hell, frog in the throat, clear off. So you can see that you're getting like a, a ghosting effect. Like that, you can see the, the shadowing underneath still. So that's, that's how you want it. So we move on. So, that, so I've done like up there, there, that section. So that's where you, you just do it in sections. So I'll do the bowls now. So that's that. And then finally the arse ends. So so we'll go down there, you can do the bottom like that in there. So you can get right in there without that doesn't matter too much. That can be quite nicely painted. So there we go. And then what you can do then is you can literally flip the thing virtually on the upside down. And uh, as long as this stand holds, which it's not going to, um, so we'll have to go with it like this. And then you can do the undersides of the Side of there, 
And as you can see, this is not. And there we go. It's run out. So that's kind of what you're looking at now. Here's how it looks. And obviously on the top bit where it's masked up, that's all your uh, all your camo. So I'm just trying to bloody hell. Get a window open <laughs> behind me. So that's all we've done, so we need to do a bit more. So again we open the tin up. We get the leveler out. Tip it in. So that's what you're using. That's how much you're putting in. This is an Isle of Water Neo. So the cup's pretty about half full. And then just tip a bit of neutral grey into the cup. So it doesn't really fill it much past the half mark. About three quarters full now. Bubble it up. Right. And then put the lids back on. It's bound to knock on flying as usual. That one there, that one on there. So like I say, that's your, your leveler you use. It's just that what this does is this levels the paint out. It will turn it glossy, but we're not too worried about that because the weathering stage afterwards, <coughs> you can dull it down anyway. Um, so where was we? So we've got that far, so we'll take the sponge out of the iron, let the thing lay on its side. And then... It's back to the underside again, yeah. So we'll get that done there. And I might as well just do the other side while I'm at it. Only on the bottom. And then up the back. Turn it upside down and get a rest. And again, just create that line. The other side hasn't been done yet, so just roll it over onto this side. And then again, just run up there with the paint over there. So you're doing the rudders and the crank shaft, old prop shaft. I don't know what bloody hell they are. Sc screws in there or something. The boat guys will be, ah, you don't know. Well, no, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. No, it's just, could you do this for you? It's not supposed to be on this side. No, oh, no, Sarah. Right, that'll do. So, and then, let's figure out, it's all good with the submarine. Then we go and over the top. Around the side, and that's it. And I think that will do that. That looks good enough to me. No, it's just a turn it over. Yeah, that looks good. So I'm happy with that. I'm happy with how that's that's laid out there. So this this piece here, it's obviously got to be done another another grain. Um, 
Something like that one there, I think. 305, we'll give them a go with that. It's a light, make it a bit more grand. Keep that over there. You see, I'm going to put that one over there as well. Right, and then we'll blue grey it up a bit because the, the underside is definitely. Now, on this one, I'll use this thinners. Now, what I'm going to do is thin the paint down now. So I'm not worried about whether it lays nice or not. Because this is the bottom of the ship. So let's just give it a quick once over with that. That's enough. Again, shove the lids on, otherwise this looks all going to go bloody flying. It's anything that stuff do pen and ink. Let's right, see how we got it. How we got it? Yeah. Oh yeah. That's all right. Right. So now, get hold of this on the front. And we're just going to go along the bottom here. We're different. So basically, what you've done is you've used a three tone grey effect. It's not much wind about today. Oh yeah, it bloody needs to be. Whew. Knock this crap out of the door. So there we go. Now we're giving it that blue effect. Don't worry about the stand. The stand can be painted in any colour you bloody like. Bright red if you really want it to. So, whoop. Sit on there, girl. And then up the front. We'll go around here with it, looks well, just to give that a coat. Old socks. <clears throat> I've just got to push this window a bit further. Seems to be ballooning. Right, so, and then just dance it over the top. Like that. And there we have it. So, seems to have like a nice ghost grey effect on it now. So, um, Waste not, want not. So that's the radio mast. This is what I've done with the, I was experimenting, hang on, where's the PO? I was experimenting on painting with the mottling effect. Now, how I've done that, um, I use these. So basically, that's what I used. And I, pushed them up against there like that and then sprayed it and then brought the camouflage through and it's the same with the other side and you just you just keep turning these around and around so you don't get the same pattern in and it, it come out quite good from what i mean i've only got three books i'm not a submarine guy i don't know boats i don't know subs so from what i was looking at in the in the actual thing in the actual books that i've got it did look you know okay it was passable so when it goes on there like that, as you can see, it blends in with this, but then all of this under here is the same as this. So it's a, it's the same mottling effect. Oh, I just put my thumb in it, and my list is on the bottom. Um, the only things I found a little bit difficult were these, um, I think these are like tubes for the ammo to be slid down in, um, because I don't think they had anything coming out. Not like today's standards. But um, yeah, they were a little bit 
difficult to try and do that patterning on. And then of course, obviously the mast where it goes up. And as you can see, it sits there all in its own pride. So um, yeah, so, so there we are. So that's that. So that's the hole painted on one side. And all you gotta do is repeat what I did on there on the other side and you'll be good to go. Okay, fellas and lassies, because I know there's a few, well, I don't know who they are personally, but um, it says on my thing that uh, yeah, there's a couple of women, girls, wherever you are, that watch my channel. Hello, dears. <coughs> um, so, uh, yeah, so there you go. So that's, that's the submarine looked at. Um, so, again, the car pulling up outside. Um, so, yeah, uh, the wood effect um, I've done using and, um, some different coloured tans and clear orange and stuff. And um, yeah, it looks alright, but uh, I think what we'll do is I might mask up or cut some rectangles out somewhere on and, um, and just make it look. But then again, I might not. I might just because this bit round here where they've had the gun. It's where you will have the the blokes walking around the same with there and there and you know so yeah I don't know I don't know that's uh, because the whole deck's wood as well so um, it'd be interesting to see how how it looks when I strip all of it off just to see you know what's what but anyway um, I can't remember what part this is but this is the this is the whole there's a there's a hole isn't it yeah the whole of the hole painted and now looking somewhat half decent so where's that thing gone so yeah so there you go Let's look at the tower and then like i say you get the modeling effect this is showing through it doesn't really seem to show through so much on the um Camera, yeah, all the darkening was you see up there, up um, this end where all the shadow I did, where it's all coming through. It's coming, you can see it just as good on camera as I can with my own eye in yeah? So, yeah, so anyway, that's it, that's me. Um, more soon, take care, guys and girls, stay safe, and just remember one thing. Life is for living. See you later, guys. Tidy bars.